Vlogmas video. As you can tell from the title, today we are going to go through my favorite Christmas songs. I have whipped out Ali's Christmas tunes on my Spotify, um, which literally just has all my Christmas songs on there. <laughs> I'm not gonna go through them all, and then obviously due to copyright reasons, I cannot play all the songs, but I'll hopefully play a little snippet so you can at least get what song it is. So I want you to, at the end of this video, let me know if you loved any of these songs too, if they're on like your like must listen to Christmas list. Comment below, let me know your favorite Christmas tunes. I do have, no, I'm gonna say I do have a number one. I have a number one, it is a solid number one. Then I have a number two that I love to listen to if I'm at carols or watching carols on TV um, or at Candlelight Processional. So let's go on. I'll finish with my number one, by the way. So <laughs> I've probably already mentioned it in a Vlogmas video actually already. So you may already know what it is. But anyway, let's move on to my favorite Christmas songs. I just love that song. It's just a cool song to sing along to. Does anybody else get really into it like I do or is that just me? But yeah, Last Christmas by Wham is definitely up there on my list. And now we all cannot not have this on our list, right? Yeah, it's All I Want For Christmas Is You by Mariah Carey. It's just so good. It's just one of those songs, you hear it and you're like, yes, Christmas is here. Anybody else? No, maybe just me, that's okay. Next is this. There are a few versions, but I do really enjoy this version and of course it is Michael Bublé who has come out of the shell of his like hiding and he's here for Christmas and Christmas only. Bless the Michael Bublé Christmas album. It is a classic. I really can say. Anyway, it's Baby It's Cold Outside by Adina Menzel and Michael Bublé. So I just really like the Adina Menzel and Michael Bublé version. I love all the versions, like if any version of that song was gonna come on, I'd be excited, but particularly enjoy this one. I feel like this next one is just a classic to be in any Christmas movie. You know? You'll know when you hear it. Rockin' around the Christmas tree. And it's Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree by Brenda Lee. Don't know if she's like the original singer, but this is like my favorite version of this song. It has to be this one. I think it's the oldest, but. Oh. So good. So this is like a newish song, but I really enjoy it. And also it's by an Aussie, so like, mm, yes, let's go. Santa's coming to town. Um, so that's Santa's coming for us by Sia. It's just a great, like who knew Sia would bring out a Christmas album? She did, it was great. Even though I live in Australia, you can't not love this song, I feel like. I feel like, I, okay, some people might not love this song, but I love this song. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. It's White Christmas by Bing Crosby. Is he the original singer? Lots of people cover this. I love every version, but I do particularly like this version. I think it's the original. I don't know. I should really do my Christmas song history and know this sort of stuff, but I just don't. Now this is like a bit of a sad version, but I really, really enjoy it. And I, I just don't know why, but I do. Okay. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I think I just appreciate his voice. And it is Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas by Sam Smith. Oh, his voice is just unreal. So. Yeah, I like that. So far, I've actually played you every song so far in playlist, so I need to calm down because this video's gonna go forever otherwise. Okay, you cut. This is like the essential when Michael Bublé is coming out of hiding. This is the song that everybody plays like on their Instagram stories. Am I wrong? Let's take a listen. Ready? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. 
Oh, what a song! What a song! Yeah, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas by Michael Bublé. Or oh, my brother likes to call him. He calls him Michael Bubble, but it's Bublé. Just, just say it properly. Okay, this gives me like Mean Girl vibes. I don't know if this is the actual one that they play in Mean Girls, but either way, this is a jam. It isn't the version I play in Mean Girls. As soon as it started playing, I went, no, this is not the Mean Girl version. But this is Jingle Bell Rock by Daryl Hall and John Oates, so Hall and Oates. I like all versions of Jingle Bell Rock, but this is just one that I have here. But I do enjoy this Christmas song. Okay, I think my love for this song started when I believe the Wiggles covered it when I was a kid. Yeah, no judgment, everyone. Yeah, I loved the Wiggles, which I don't know what Australian kid didn't. If you didn't, like, I, are you even normal? No, I'm joking, you are normal. Maybe you're an alien. But anyway, I think they covered this and I've just loved it ever since, so let's go. It's just so happy and joyful, you know? Feliz Navidad. So this is Feliz Navidad by Jose Feliciano. I don't know if I, I probably just completely butchered that guy's name, I am so sorry. But Feliz Navidad, classic, classic. Oh, what a song. I think this song joined my Christmas list because of Elf. I'm fairly sure this is from Elf. I think this is this is why this is in here. It's a good song though. It has a cool video on Spotify. Ring a ling a ling a ding na ding. We wear the forest sleigh ride together with you. And that Sleigh Ride by Ella Fitzgerald. Like I said, don't know if it's the original song. I have no idea. But I love it. I love it. And I just said that, and the next version I have is Sleigh Ride by the Ronettes, and this is definitely way older, so I'm gonna say this might be the original. Oh, this one goes. This one goes boom, boom, like it's really upbeat. Yes! Yes! I remember it. Oh, yeah. I like both these versions. This version, okay. I like both versions. Sleigh ride, mm, yeah, it's a good girl. Wait, is this the version from Mean Girls? Let's let's listen. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell I feel like that could be the Mean Girls version of Jingle Bell Rock. This song, I think it's just me and my sister loved it from a movie. <laughs> so I I don't know, but I just I don't know what movie we got it from. Like this song's probably in heaps of Christmas movies, but let's just play it anyway. Might it be the Santa Claus? My little reindeer, you are the mastermind. Run, run, Rudolph. Yes! So it's Run, Rudolph, Run by Chuck Berry. Classic. This one has a funny story. My sister and I, I and I apologize to anyone who, who did know of this song before we did and I just didn't appreciate its greatness. Um, we didn't hear it until Disney World 2018 when our lovely resorts just kept playing Disney music all the time and I was in heaven and this song kept playing and I just couldn't believe it was a Christmas song and now it's just one of my favorites. So let's go. Let's go. Like definitely comment below if you know this song. I need to know that other people knew of this song. Like a girl at my work knew it for years and I was like, why has no one ever showed me this song before? Okay, here we go. Grandma got run over by a reindeer <laughs> Walking home from our house Christmas day And it gets really into it already Ooh. She had hoof marks on her forehead Grandma got run over by a reindeer Why didn't I know of this song sooner? God, it's a classic oh, Grandma got run over by a reindeer by Elmo and Patsy, by the way Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Do I, am I the only one that finds it great? I don't know. Maybe I am. But me and my sister, it just takes us straight back to Pop Century when we hear it. We love it. Love it. So this song is thanks to Disney again. I hadn't really heard of it much before. And then um, it was part of their new Christmas fireworks show. And I was like, oh, 
This is a good song. Add that to the playlist, Ali. There's also another version by Paul McCartney and I don't know which one I prefer, but I just enjoy the song. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. And that's Wonderful Christmas Time by Randy Crenshaw. This one is actually like on a Disney album, so I don't know if that's like a Disney specific version, but I did find a Paul McCartney version as well that I do enjoy. So this is another one, it makes no sense as an Australian to enjoy it, but you just can't... Does Ali love every Christmas song? Yeah, sort of. Okay, let's, uh, let's go, but I do love this one, I do. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. So that's Let It Snow, Let It Snow, I said that twice, by Dean Martin, classic. This is another song that's just like in almost every Christmas movie, so you can't just not appreciate it. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It truly is. And it's called It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year by Andy Williams is that version. I like any version, but I do enjoy this version. Finally, finally, I'm gonna move to my two favorites. Like I could go on for forever. This, this Christmas playlist is enormous, but let's go to my two absolute favorites. So I'm gonna start with the one that I enjoy the most out of Christmas carols. I just wanna preface, I'm not really religious in any way, shape or form, but I love hearing this. Like it literally will bring me to tears. I don't know why, but I just love it. I literally, it does, okay. When I, I have to just, this is like the one song I have to hear to carols. I did, not all carols sing this because it's a hard song to sing. Just, just appreciate it. Yes. You probably think I'm weird right now. When they get to the high part and you hear people live singing those high notes, that is when I just, the tears just come. People are gonna think that is a very weird like Christmas song to like, but I just I just do. If you wonder what this version is, it's actually the candlelight processional version that you can find on Spotify. But just whenever I hear that song, it literally will bring me to tears. Um, I I don't know why. I am a I'm a big fan of like classical movie score type music, so maybe that's why I'm more inclined to like it. And I love live choirs and that sort of thing. It's just, like, hold on, let's get to the one I go really high, cause that just, so high. I wish I could sing that good. I, oh my God, I can't even sing that good. They're going again, they're going again, they're gonna go higher, they can go higher, what? Okay, wait. I think they go again, they go higher again. Like, here we go, this is, this is it, this is it. Love it. Do you all think I'm weird now? Probably, but I don't care. So my favorite Christmas carol song is the Hallelujah Chorus. Most carols will have it, like on TV. I'm not talking like, okay, maybe when you go to like your local choir or something or your local, they might put on the Hallelujah Chorus. And if they do, like a props to them, that is a hard song. But mainly like, it's like what you're gonna see on those, the big league carols, you know? Like the ones on TV. Candlelight Processional. That's where I see the Hallelujah Chorus. And this, I've never looked into the history of this song, of like when it came out or how old it is or anything like that. But I just remember hearing it and going that, that is it. So I don't know why this big, this is my favorite Christmas song. I just, I don't know, but I just love it. I just hear it and I'm just like, my God, my God. My, it's Christmas. Like, don't ask me why. I don't, I do not have a reason. I don't, it's just, it's just my favorite. So, if it's your favorite as well, we've just become best friends. We just became best friends if this is your favorite Christmas song. So good. I love when it, it gets like louder, like the crescendo, is that what you call it? <laughs> I'm not good at music. What? I don't know why. I don't have an answer for you why that's my favorite. It just is. It's, you know, sorry. You're probably wondering. It's Carol of the Bells. I particularly like the, I think, I am gonna screw this up. Mykola Dmitrovich Lentovich and John Williams version. 
I uh, hope I said that right, but it's actually um, Home Alone. It was in Home Alone. But that, well, that's the version I have on here. Other people, other people do Carol of the Bells, but this is the version that I love. Um, and it, it is my favorite. Unlike other things where I'm like, I can't pick a favorite, it's like picking a favorite kid. No, this is my favorite Christmas song. And I don't know why. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Vlogmas video. As I said at the beginning, Please let me know what your favorite Christmas songs are. Does anybody else really love Carol of the Bells or is that just an alley thing? My two, my two favorite songs are very choiry type, high, like you have to be able to hit those high note songs. I don't know why, clearly that's just my thing. So anyone else, anyone else? But yeah, please let me know what your favorite Christmas songs are. And maybe like, and also grandma got run over by a reindeer. If you had heard that song before, like if you grew up listening to that song, please let me know. I just, that's just, I just, ah, uh, that's probably also up. I can't believe I just never heard that song. It's just hilarious. It's like, it's so, it's so good. So good. Anyway, I hope you guys like this today's video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow in tomorrow's Vlogmas video. Bye everyone.